Little briquette was invented in 1897, but interest in it was slow burning, so to speak, until the 1920s. That's when automaker Henry Ford decided to recycle wood scraps from car making into barbecue briquettes. Ford's briquettes soon became a smoking sensation. Barbecuing with charcoal has become immensely popular since Ford's time, and every year, several million tons of wood scraps are converted into high-quality charcoal briquettes. Today, charcoal briquette production starts with sawdust and wood chips from lumber mills. A truck unloads it all into a pit. Bulldozers blend the material, called fuel, to obtain a consistent and uniform end product. As the mix travels up a conveyor, an electromagnet removes any metal contaminants. The mix falls onto a vibratory screener which sifts out the larger pieces of wood. At this point, the fuel is still very moist. To dry it, a worm screw draws the mix up into a long rotating dryer. The dryer heats the wood mix to a searing 760 degrees Celsius. The dryer is sealed to prevent oxygen from leaking in. This allows the wood to dry without catching fire. After four minutes in the dryer, the moisture has been cooked out of the mix. Workers add anthracite coal to the hopper, which mixes in with the fuel. Anthracite coal is coal that burns at a high temperature. Then they mix in lime. Lime makes the briquettes turn white after they're ignited, a visual indication that they're ready to cook on. The mix, now blackened, passes under a second electromagnet to remove any metal that could damage the downstream equipment. Finally, workers blend in cornstarch, which binds the ingredients together. A worm screw supplies the mixture to a press roll. A constant spray of water keeps the mixture from sticking to it. The press rolls compact the mixture into briquettes. This happens in a fraction of a second. The briquettes contain 35% moisture and are very soft. A screener shakes out fine material from the briquettes, which is recycled back into the process. A sweep belt transports and distributes the briquettes in a 250-foot drying tunnel. They're heated to 140 degrees Celsius for two and a half hours. This will reduce their moisture level from 35 to just 5%. The lower the moisture level, the better it burns. A conveyor transports the briquettes to automated scales that weigh them for packaging. Every portion is the same, plus or minus one briquette. They release the briquettes and robots below move the bags into position to capture them. A sealing machine glue seals the bags, then prints a production date and shift code on each one. You have to admit, there's a whole lot of barbecue tradition that goes into grilling with charcoal briquettes. And who can resist the smoky flavor of charcoal grilled food?